starving. Yes, but we've got sausage and chips here. Great. Hey, I look. There's some for you. Some for me. There's some for me. Right. Right. Hey, Paul. Well, how come we've only got one sausage? We couldn't afford two sausages, could we? We have to share this one 50-50. 50-50? Right. About there. Yep. Right. There you are. There's your bit. Thank you. There's my bit. Very nice. Hey, just a minute. There's a job here could be answer to all our problems. Is there really? Yeah. What we've got to do is go down for an interview this afternoon. By tomorrow, we could be fully fed hot dog vendors. Very good. We could eat as many sausages as we yeah. want. But, uh, Barry, just a minute. Could you pass me the salt, please? The salt? Please, oh, certainly. There you go. Thank you. Paul, could you pass me the vinegar? Vinegar? Of course yes, I can. Thank you. Hey, would you stop messing about? That's mine. I'm not messing about. I want my sausage. No, that's my sausage. That's oh, dear, oh dear. Now look what you've done. I suppose we better go and get that job now, then. Yeah, I mean, it's not the sort of thing we've done before, is it? No. I mean, have we had any experience of food handling, hygiene and preparation? No. Or dealing with the general public in a retail environment? No, we haven't. Or working in a high-pressure, rapid-yield, multifaceted industry? Definitely not. Well, what have we got? We've got the white coat. Here you are. Yeah, but what about my cold? That'll clear up as soon as you get out in the fresh air. Come on. It's a bit about that sausage and chips, you know, cos I'm famished. Yes. Well, we could nip down the cafe and get some lunch. Oh. But don't forget, you've got to be nice and smart. Are they that fussy, then? Who? In the cafe. Not in the cafe. You've got to be smart for the interview. Oh, smart for the interview. Yeah. Right. Hey, that moustache needs a bit of a trim. Do you think so? Get that chair and sit down. Right. Just the job. Hey, don't spoil me profile. Nope. There. Hey, did you know you got split ends? No. You have now. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Show them back insides, please. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid we're not. Don't tell me you're not open. No. no. I insist that you cut my hair. I've got a very important interview this afternoon, and I want to set a good example. So get it cut. Oh, certainly, sir. Hey? <clears throat> Fancy City's chances for the cup? No, I support Rovers. Oh. Beats the dogs lately. What? Oh! Oh, sir. Don't move violently like that, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Has Sir had his holidays yet? No, no, I'm far too busy at work. Oh, good game? Yes, yeah, so sure, we're expanding rapidly. In fact, we're taking on new people all the time. Oh, excuse me, sir. Would you mind bending your head forward a little bit? Oh, you under the back now, do you? No, I've dropped my comb down your shirt. That's it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh, dear. Has Sir ever thought of wearing a hairpiece? Whatever for? I'm not bald. No. Uh, how about a hat? Oh, I never wear them. Oh, I think Sir's face would suit a hat. How about a trilby? No, I don't like them. A deer stalker or a bowler? A balaclava? I don't like hats! Oh. Ah, phew! Oh. Oh. What was that? Oh. Hi. You just got a bit of a sneeze there, sir. Yes. I think I'm allergic to hair. Well, you shouldn't be a hairdresser then, should you? No. We shouldn't, should we, Paul? No. I think that'll do now, sir. Oh, well, how much do I owe you? Uh, have that on the house, sir. Oh, that's very good of you. Uh, have you got a mirror? Oh, yes. I've got... No! Oh, you ought to be more careful. You know, that's going to mean bad luck for somebody. <laughs> oh, that was a close shave, wasn't it? Come on, let's go and get some lunch. Will you stop complaining? Yeah, but I thought we were going to the cafe for lunch. Yeah, but this is cheaper, isn't it? Oh. Hey, Paul, look at that. I hate that. What? All the labels are upside down. Shall we straighten them out? OK. Excuse me, young man. I have a complaint. Oh, is that why you're walking funny? No, it's about a trifle I bought here. Oh, yes. Well, to start off with, it was rather small. Just a mere trifle. <laughs> and then I noticed that the sponge was soggy. Oh, that's awful. Terrible. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, I don't know. It's nothing to do with us, really, is it? Oh. Of course it is. Now, what do you think should be done about it? Well, I think you should be given a dozen free boxes as compensation. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. OK. Indeed, I did. Indeed, I 
didn't I tell you? I was given them the Scott Pensation. And she seems such a nice old lady. Mm. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for today's expert demonstrators of microglee. Oh, the old clapping. I think they're expecting us to demonstrate this washing powder. That's ridiculous. We don't know anything about washing powders. No. Hey, there's a script here. We could read from that. Okay, then. Good. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Give us a minute. New micro gleam. Happy with your wash? Does your old style powder dissolve fatty stains at 40 degrees? What wash day problem could be worse than ground in dirt? Ground in mud. Excuse me, sir. Could we borrow your jacket? His jacket? Barry, take the man's jacket. Sir. Right, now put it on the floor. On the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll be so kind as all to jump up and down on the jacket. Don't worry, sir. With new micro clean, we'll soon get it clean. We will prove to you that in clinical tests, new improved micro clean beats big box brand X. Now, for purposes of the demonstration, we tear the jacket in half. Hey? Yes. To me. To me. That's it. Now we put one half of the jacket into Brand X. And we put the other half of the jacket into new Micro Glee. There's not much in there. The test begin. And now for the result of the test. As you see, with big box brand X, everything looks nice and clean, but deep down, it is not. It is not. Barry, the micro clean. As you see, with micro clean, everything comes out superbly clean. Next show, four o'clock. Park's just up here. We've got plenty of time. Great. I can't wait. Excuse me. Would you mind looking after this for me for a minute? <laughs> hey. Hey, it's funny you took one look at me and in you. In you what? That I used to sell ice creams. Did you? Oh, yes. I know everything there is to know about selling ice creams from a cart like this. Oh. This is the famous GSX-3 model. Beautifully balanced it is. Lovely machine. Oh, oh, thank goodness, thank goodness I found you. You must help me. My little doggy Robert, he's gone missing. And the one thing that will tempt him back is a large knickerbocker tutti fruity glory with chop nuts. Do you have one? Well, I don't know, you see. We're not really ice... Oh, please, please, look, I'm desperate. She's desperate. Well, I suppose the man told us to look after it, didn't he? And he wouldn't want to lose a sale. Okay, then. Oh. oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm afraid we're right out of those. Oh, no, no. Well, what am I going to do? What's she going to do? Tell you what, Barry. Go and get a knickerbocker tutti frutti glory with crushed nuts for the lady's little dog. Where am I going to get one of those? In the park. You know, the ice cream stall. All right. I won't be long. Oh. Lollipop man. Oh, yes, all kind of oh, lollipop. Come here, then, and help my class across the road. I don't think it's a disgrace deserting your post. I ought to report you. Where's your lollipop? He's here. It's a disgrace. It's too small. Well, I'm only a trainee. Thank you very much. That's the one. Call yourself an umpire? No. Don't give me any of your sauce. No, it's not sauce. It's chopped knocks, actually. If you're not on that field in five seconds flat, I'll... 
Uh, two chocolate lollies, was it? Oh, how long is this ice cream going to be? Oh, I should think about that long. If you turn it on its side. Oh, I'm going to look for them. Just a minute. Now, was it a cornet? Right. There you are, madam. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, thank you. How much do we? No charge. Oh, uh, oh. here, Robert. Here, boy. Supposed to hit the ball, you're the umpire. What are we going to do now? Well, I don't know. Well, you're in charge. Make a decision. But I'm not an umpire, I've been trying to tell you. Not the umpire, you're a fraud. Uh, I think I'd better be going. After him! He's a fraud! There you are. <laughs> now then, Sonny, what would you like? What, what have you done? They thought I was a cricket umpire. We lost the ball, and now they're all after me. Well, I was serving ice creams, and a meteor came and destroyed the ice cream cart. Now the ice cream man's after me. But what are we going to do? Let's go for the job interview. It's up the other end of the park. They'll never catch us there. OK. We seem to have finally shaken them off. Yeah, we're just in time for the interview. Mm. Hey, looks as though there's nobody in there. I know what they're doing. What? They're trying to test our initiative. Are they? Yes. What we've got to do is serve all these people. When they come back and see how well we've done, they're bound to give us the job. Yes. <laughs> Hot dog, madam? Sir? You like some sauce, sir? <laughs> you were here. This man has collapsed. Oh dear, oh dear. I can see you're both doctors, so hurry up and treat this poor man before I report you both to the BMA. The BMA? The Badgers and Mole Waters Association. Are you affiliated? Just two at the back and one at the front. The rest are perfect. Now, are you two going to do something or do I report you both? Oh dear. Now, what's your diagnosis, Barrett? 24th of December, Capricorn. No, 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 no. I mean, what do you think's wrong with him? Well, his tasting hats isn't very good, is it? Well, he's obviously had some terrible injury. Yes, you cut his hair. I think the first thing we should do is loosen his tie. He isn't wearing one. Well, take yours off and put that on, loosen that. Right. No, I'll tell you what, take his pulse. His pulse? Oh, no, this is terrible. What? Absolutely terrible. What's wrong? My watch has stopped. It's always doing that. Aren't you going to bandage his wounds? Well, we're just going to do that, weren't we, Barry? Yes, I'll go and see if it's a first aid kit. Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, no. No, no, that's impossible. We've been out the country for years. Budapest. Hungary? No, thanks. We've just had lunch. What can I get you? I'm sure I've seen you somewhere. Well, do you watch Casualty? Yes. Are you one of the doctors? No, I was just wondering if you could give me any tips. Hey, Paul. 
I found this in the first aid kit, but there's an enormous queue for hot dogs. Well, I tell you what, I'll deal with this. You go and serve them. Right. Won't be long. There, that's better. Yeah, more bandages. Hey, Paul, this arm looks a bit floppy. Perhaps it's broken. Well, what we need is a splint. Go and get one. Right. It won't be long. I've got the splint. Hey, that eye looks a bit nasty. Steak's good for a black eye. Too late, he's already got one. Try this. Oh, steak and kidney pie? Yeah. Right, hold it there. Hey, he looks a bit pie-eyed. Yeah, well, he is a bit of a crusty customer. Mm. Is he really all right? Yes, that's about all we can do now. There's only one thing I can recommend. What's that? You take him to see a doctor. Come on, Bunny. Oh, oh, oh. I suppose I better get him. Oh, oh, where am I? You're in the park. You had a nasty accident. W what happened? You were lucky those two men in white coats could help. White coats? Two of them? Where are they? I'm here in the hot dog van. Oh. Right. Thank you very much. Bye. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you! Hello. You made a rapid recovery. And it's no thanks to you. You're the monsters who cut my hair, too. Ah, well, we've decided to diversify into catering. Lady, lady! Have you seen two carriages around here? Moustaches and white coats. You mean the doctors? Doctors? So that's what they are. Where are they now? They're in the park. They're running a hot dog stall. Right! So you're saying it's not your fault at all? No, we were just trying to be helpful. I must say I don't like the sound of it. But I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, great. When do we start? Tomorrow. Now, I run a tight ship, so no nonsense. This is your only chance. And remember, no slacking. The most important thing is hygiene. Every one of my staff must be scrupulously clean. Clean hands, clean fingers, clean nails, and above all, no pets. Understand? Oh, yes, sir. <coughs> what was that? Oh, it was just me. I was going... <coughs> <coughs> that's a dog. Well, it is a hot dog stall. <coughs> oh, that's my Robert. Oh, that's her Robert. <coughs>